Well, no wonder they all went wild about it. Brunelleschi had come up with a way of measuring the whole universe. You could examine any distant object's characteristics without ever having to go near it because you knew its relative size and distance from you and all other objects because of perspective geometry. Well, that knocked Aristotle for six for a start. Or it would have if Brunelleschi had been up to the theoretical maths, which he wasn't. Fortunately, an amateur painter and ex-letter writer for the Pope called Alberti was. And he knew all that Alhazen stuff about optics and Ptolemy's gridding system because he'd been to college. So he put it all together in a book called How to Paint. Two versions, one in Latin for the coffee table crowd and one in Italian for the hoi polloi. Lesson one, he says, take a gridded frame and plonk it in front of your scene like that. The grid of threads on the frame helps you to get the size of any object in the scene relative to all other objects wherever they may be with great accuracy. For instance, that church is almost one frame tall. That clump of trees is just over two. My hand is bigger than the church, see? Because it's closer to you than the church is. What you get with this grid is a kind of slice through that visual pyramid Al Hazen was on about of all the light coming from a scene to your eyes. Remember? So this was a way of copying a view square by square with everything in proportion, which was okay for copying. What if you wanted to invent a scene for yourself? Well, in Alberti's book, that was lesson two. How to draw a perspective framework. At eye level, a horizon line, a center point, and floor lines. Then, from a point where a viewer of the painting would be standing, lines from the viewer's eye to the end of each floor line, and from where they cut the frame, Horizontals, giving you a checkerboard perspective effect for the painted figures to stand on. Add roof lines like floor lines for everything above head height, and there's the framework on which you paint your painting. Which isn't a painting, it's a church, designed by Brunelleschi according to the rules of perspective, where everything converges on the center point, the altar. Clever, isn't it? Perspective lets you copy reality with mathematical precision or build your own to exact specifications.